On behalf of the trustees, welcome to the Shrine of Remembrance Melbourne and our live stream commemorative service. Today we will lay a wreath on behalf of the Australian Army Training Team, Vietnam. A 30-man group of Army instructors, known as the Australian Army Training Team, Vietnam, was sent to Vietnam in 1962 to help train the South Vietnamese. Colonel Sarong, the commander, arrived on 31 July and the main group flew into Saigon on 3 August 1962. The team leader expanded to just over 200 men in Vietnam per year and they finished the war as Australia's most highly decorated unit with four Victoria Crosses and many other Imperial and Foreign Awards. Although the AATV's initial role supposedly restricted to training only, by 1962 some of the unit were actively in combat with South Vietnamese units and the role of AATTV was officially expanded in 1964 to deploy advisors in combat with South Vietnamese Army units. The team operated mainly in the northern province of South Vietnam, known as One Corps, until 1968. A small group was established in the Mekong Delta, south of Saigon. Some members served with the US Special Forces and CIA-sponsored programs. Others were stationed in lonely outposts with regional and popular force troops. From being shelled by North Vietnamese artillery to slogging through waterlogged paddy fields of the Delta or fighting in the jungle of the Central Highlands, the experiences of the men are as diverse as were the locations. Their stories are many, from the mundane to the terror of being surrounded and fighting for survival. The team consisted of officers and warrant officers until 1970 when corporals were added to provide mobile assistance teams in Bok Thuy province, an area to the southeast of Saigon. At the end of 1971, when the Australian task force was gone, the AATTV was collected into Bok Thuy to assist the Vietnamese and to train Cambodians. The unit was withdrawn on 18 December 1972 when the final elements were ordered to quit Vietnam. Only 996 Australians and 11 New Zealanders served with the AATTV between 31 July 1962 and 18 December 1972. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
lest we forget. Smile.